let's go and speak to let's go and speak to Danny, a Liverpool fan. Good evening, Danny. Hello. Hello, mate. Hello Dan. Hello, yeah. I'd just like to say tonight what you've witnessed is the beginning of greatness. It's not the end of Liverpool, it's merely just the beginning, mate. Right, Dan, I'm come telling you right now. I'm oh. telling you right now. Oh. We're going to go win the Champions League we... and we'll win the league next year. Dan, I promise you. You played against a team that played like pigs. No, listen, listen. The way the, the first goal we scored against Leicester on the weekend, mate, there were shades of Chris Ajax in that team. Shades of Chris oh, Ajax, I'm telling you now. Go on, da- you Danny. Now, I know, look, are you, I know it's been a tough old February. And you've had to come out from underneath your rock. And you said a, come out your bunker. I know, but you've you've kind of come out all guns blazing here, Danny. I mean, do you, I mean, you did, I'm sure, feel as though it was going to be a brilliant turnaround when you beat West Ham and beat Spurs. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, mate. If you look at the three games we lost, right? It wasn't necessarily that we were outplayed. Liverpool are never outplayed. It's just luck and chance have screwed us over. We're too special. Brighton, to Brighton at home? Burnley. Yeah, Burnley at home? We dominated those games. They just got lucky. A few decisions. You got beaten by two. You got beaten by Brighton and Burnley. I, I, would, I would definitely... I mean, I, I'm a, maybe a little surprised at how bullshit you are. You've got every right to be bullshit when you've won it six times. And we're going to make it number seven. Know, I'm but, telling you that now. You, I... I Mate, just been, I, I know, but you've, I, I know, but you're just on the back of three straight defeats. No, but if you if you take the if you take the score out of those games, they were. They, I'd hold, on, they hold, were hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, take, it's nil nil. It's nil nil. You drew both, drew all three. No, no. If you take the yeah, if you take the score lines out of those games and just look at the patterns of the games and the actual statistics, we were the better team in all of those games. Honestly, honestly, I hear this a lot, and you're absolutely right. Liverpool were, but ultimately, no. ultimately, that that counts for absolute zip. At Man City, against Man City, they weren't the better team. It was even, but one or oh, it Perry, could have gone either way. You weren't the Perry, better team. Perry, they're, they're, against they're Leicester, goals, right? All four of them were gifts, apart from Foden's. All of them were gifts, mate. Yeah, well, so was your penalty. penalty. But that happens in football, though. Well, Dan, no, don't you no, think no. you've lost your air of invincibility? Don't you think mate, people now think we can get out Liverpool? It's just a little blip when you're as special as we are, mate, and we're a special yeah, football what, club. I mean, you look, uh, look you're, you're, you're currently out of, out of the top four. You were leading the Premier League around, around December. Like I said, we've been ravaged by injuries. Once we get Jota back, once we get Van Dijk back, once we get Gomez back, once we bring in a few new signers, mate, we'll dominate the league next year. Don't worry about it. Right, Dan, you got a choice. Salah or Mbappe? Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> Mbappe because he's younger. Oh, you what? You get rid of Salah? I love that. He's gone business decision. He's gone for business decision. <sighs>